The airspeed indicator is color-coded and marked to denote several key airspeeds on which the pilot routinely relies. The stall speed in the landing configuration, or VSO, is indicated by the bottom of the white arc on the airspeed indicator. The stalling speed in a specific configuration, VS1, which is usually a clean configuration, meaning flaps and gear retracted, is indicated by the bottom of the green arc on the airspeed indicator. The maximum flaps extended speed, VFE, is indicated by the top of the white arc on the airspeed indicator. The white arc extends from the landing configuration stall speed, VSO, to the maximum flaps extended speed. You must be in the white arc to use flaps. The maximum structural cruising speed is the speed at which should never be exceeded except when in smooth air and then only with caution. This speed is indicated on the airspeed indicator as the top of the green arc. The green arc on the airspeed indicator shows the normal operating speed range of the airplane. It extends from VS1 to VNO. The never exceed speed, VNE, is displayed as a red line on the airspeed indicator. This speed is not to be exceeded under any circumstances. The yellow arc extends from the maximum structural cruising speed, VNO, up to the never exceed speed, VNE, displaying the smooth air operating range. Aircraft with retractable landing gear will also have a maximum speed which the gear may be extended or retracted, VLO. Sometimes VLO is different depending on whether the gear are being raised or lowered. For example, a system with forward raising nose gear may have a slower VLO for retraction since the nose gear is fighting the wind to retract forward. VLE is the maximum speed the airplane may be flown with the gear extended.